You're listening to SoFloRadio.com. SoFloRadio.com presents CEO Manship, becoming a leader in today's business world with your host, Steve Gordon, CEO of Gordon Partnership Group, an international business consulting firm specializing in CEO boot camp, sales team training, as well as client growth and retention. Visit GordonPartnershipGroup.com. Gordon Partnership Group, your success is our business. And now, here's your host, Steve Gordon. Good afternoon, Florida. Good afternoon, George good afternoon. Rodriguez. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, and good afternoon to everybody listening throughout the world. And you know what? Who is the producer of this show? Uh, I guess that's me. I'll own that one. I'm, I'm looking at these two boom microphones that are right where that camera is. How did we not catch that? You know, I don't, I don't know. I was just so busy on the, uh, on the other side here. All right, so, and, and uh, you know, blocking the view. Anyway, so, yeah, wow, how are you? It's not good. much. Let's try that again. Not much. Didn't block the view. Didn't block the, um, the view of your hair. <laughs> That's, Is that a little bit of foreshadowing there? The view I'm doing of my great. Hair. What a wonderful weekend. Look at the breezes and the treeses over here. Another beautiful Florida I, I know. day. You know what? Uh, the sunsets have been oh, unbelievable. I, I took some sunrise pictures the other day and posted them on Facebook. Hashtag no filter. Didn't need it. All beautiful oranges and greens. That's great. Uh, That's great. So, the, so the sunsets are beautiful. The sunrises. Yeah, it's a we, you know, great time. Gr- great yeah. to be here. It is li- great. Living where we live. We're very lucky. You know people. the other great part? That, um, is that a trick question? Many of the snowbirds. We, we love our snowbirds. But... Um, as I say, I've become a true Floridian, and um, you know it's nice to be able to uh, walk into your favorite restaurant and just get a table, or just walk into the grocery store and actually check out. Uh, not a- that I'm appreciating the uh, the elbow room, are you? Yes, the, I am. The short Wait. lines at the uh, at the Publix. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> so I, I know we do we do love our tourists uh, and our tourist industry down here, and we appreciate that they appreciate our our place. But yeah, now it's a, it's locals only. Let the um, let, Let the, the low prices <laughs> switch the prices back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, so we can all go shopping again. It's amazing how that works. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so so we yeah. are, you... you about made, that hair. Yeah, about that hair. You, that's the second time you've said yeah, that. Yeah, just, you know, it's I got to get that out of the way or I'm going to be very distracted during the show. It just, it's going right. to be sitting there. This is one of those times right. when it's it's important. I mean, I think, it's a, camera, I think it's a, good, it's a good haircut. If we were younger... There is a story. Less mature, I would say, what happened? Did you lose a bet? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll tell you the story in a All second. Right, yeah, I want uh, to hear the but, story. You know, speaking of which, today's show, we're going to talk about making great first impressions. <laughs> so <laughs> the haircut seems to be a, um, a perfect lead in. Well, that's, um, th- yeah, that's a thing. People think about that a lot. I do, at least, well, I don't know, I used to when I used to have hair. Well, this, this story. First of all, I would like to say that if you would like to see the visuals of this story, just go to my, uh, my website, gordonpartnership.com. Mm-hmm. And then click on articles, and it is the latest blog article, including photographs. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. So, as usual, uh, the lovely Lori was somehow involved, <laughs> he says with a laugh. Yeah. Um, good. Cynical, <laughs> but laugh nonetheless. So, I don't know what day it was, but it had to be about a week ago or so. Uh, lovely Lori. Hashtag simply Lori Gordon dot com uh, says to me, you know, Gordo, that's what she calls me, having nothing to do with the Spanish yeah. word. Gordo. I was just going to say, did you know? Yes, I've known for a long time. I understand if, if your name weren't Gordon. It, yes. Yeah. So, OK, let's speed this show up. All right. Put a little energy into this baby. So um, she says, Gordo, I say, yes, Lori. She said, you know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to like kind of. Get a get rid of the little gray on the sides of uh, you getting a little gray on the side. Mm-hmm, yeah. And I said, yeah, you know, I like it. You know, it's uh, it? yeah. separates me from sexy, the youth. Sexy, sexy gray. And she said, no, let's just you know, let, I'm going to go get something, and we'll just kind of mm. brush away the the gray. A little um, shoe polish there. It, it, yeah. Shoe polish would have been great. <laughs> I would have taken shoe yeah. polish. So this is so I, the, I, I'm, I'm home, that, uh, and Lori comes back home from one of the local stores, and takes 
was it out. The... Well, yeah, it was. It was first of all, it wasn't one of these sort of just like temporary men's type products. Like, right, no, the that, gre- was it the Gre? Because I don't understand Grecian formula. Is that well, a... it was just it was a woman's hair dye. Oh, okay. okay, all right. So I should have known. Hey, I was so, wearing glitter anyway, yesterday. I'm not okay. really paying attention, and I totally trust Lori. I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, what am I not supposed to try? So, so I'm sitting there, and my my head is buried in the laptop. I'm sitting outside. Um, it's a beautiful afternoon. I've got the pool behind me. I'm not really looking, and I just feel like this um, cool yeah. something kind of washing yeah. through my hair. And I'm thinking this is pretty good because, like, that's my favorite part of a haircut is when they kind of shampoo the your shampooing hair. Shampooing part, oh right? sure, I think that's yeah. everybody's favorite. Get some part. nails in there, shit. Right, yeah, yeah get that, that. Right. So I then all of a sudden, um, lovely Lori says, um, "Oh." I said, what? No, nothing. I just didn't think it would be this purple. I, I said, okay, well, she goes, no, no, it'll be fine. She says, oh, so so then then she said, um, you, know, you have to just let it sit for a few minutes. So I, okay, like how many few minutes? And she said, I don't know, maybe like 15 minutes or so. And with that, the lovely Stephanie calls. Now, you don't know the lovely Stephanie, but the lovely Stephanie is the lovely Lori's sister. Okay. And... Um, a fifteen to twenty minutes. She's got more of them at home. Something like that. All right. So, so the the lovely um, Stephanie and the lovely Lori, when they have their conversations, uh, they're usually like fifteen minutes would be considered a pregame show. Okay. All right. You, you All follow right. me? It's, it's, it's sure. Funny. So yeah. she says, All right, "I'm going to talk to my sister for a couple minutes." Goes inside to the kitchen, uh, and I'm sitting out there again, still buried in my laptop, doing some work, preparing for a client or something to that effect, and. All of a sudden, it occurs to me that it feels like it's been more than 15 minutes. So I look at my my watch, and it's been about 15, 20 minutes. I walk in, um, and and Lori's still on the phone with Stephanie, and and I say to her, it feels like it's been about 15, 20 minutes, to which she says, oh, my God, Stephanie, I have to go. <laughs> now, that's the yeah. second tell, right? First yeah. tell is purple. Third, second yeah. tell. So third tell. Okay, you need to go in the shower and rinse this out. And as we go towards the master bedroom and towards look in the mirror. Okay? <laughs> now, I wasn't gonna. Right. But now that you mentioned it. <laughs> so, I start rinsing everything out and I'm noticing just like what what seems to be an endless amount of of hair dye falling down my body into the shower right. what, and down what, the drain. What color is this hair dye? Is it uh... well? I never knew there was a color darker than black, but apparently, um, yeah. Clairol or Revlon or somebody yeah, figured no. it out and they put Ul- it on my ultraviolet. Head. Just I don't know black hole. Black hole. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. So anyway, I, I get out of the shower and I realize that not only is my hair darker than any shade of black that has ever existed before. So unrealistically dark yeah. that, that it looks now like it's it's painted on like a helmet, right? And I'm like panicking, looking at this, and I'm going, <gasps> and Lori laughs so hard that I thought we were going to have an accident. Well, we That's, weren't. She was. Yeah. And and it made me feel really yeah. bad because every time I would look up, like as if to say help, she would just laugh. I mean, hysterically laugh. So. It occurred to me as I'm looking at this that also the dye had sort of stained my scalp, stained oh, my wow. ears. Yeah. So I'm using. Um, How do you unstain? I Is it acetone go, nail polish. Well, first removal? I tried you know, soap, but that, that, that didn't work. So so then I went and you you know, and this is sort of foreshadowing for a later conversation. Uh, but you know that I use uh, cleaning products from a, a company that makes environmentally friendly products and. They're safe and they're non-toxic products. So I think, okay, let me get a, bo- a spray bottle of something and start spraying the tops of my sure. ears. And and you know what? It worked. And and that was great. So so now I the guess, yeah, stained same. ears were gone. Mm-hmm. And the, the forehead was for the, mo- I mean, and the forehead and the scalp was for the most part gone. And I look in the mirror and it occurs to me that I look just like the young Eddie Munster. <laughs> right, Butch Patrick, I think his name is. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the song theme song? Yes, it is. Right? Is that Monsters? That's Monsters. Okay, that's it. So, so on my blog, you will see 
that I really do look like, like the, the young Eddie Munster. Anyway, so so you would think that this. would be bad enough, right? And and I'm so embarrassed. So finally, after nothing works, I mean, I'm practically putting like acetone on my head, not not, not from that company. That would have gone right? right for acetone. Right. Anyway, so so I didn't really. <laughs> but but anyway, so so it's really bad. So finally, I go into the closet and I just grab a baseball cap, and I figure, sure. okay, why do you think I wear one? Purple hair. Bad, no. Bad, bad, bad job. <laughs> No, I mean here. I'll, I'll, I'll it's, it's gone. It's not. I don't. Not good. You know, you have, you have it's, it's. I got. I got my. I call this. I call this my fun flip. It's you know all that I've fun. never seen you without a baseball cap. No, because uh, well, there's there are two reasons. First of all, I used to have luxurious hair that I was very proud of, and when it fell out and went. Do you gray, know that no man uses the word luxurious? I'm very secure. I'm very secure. In my, I mean, that uh, wasn't a negative thing. It's okay, Please father, don't write in. Father send, of two send, children. Write the station. Not I, I've already, I've already reproduced. I don't care what anybody thinks. But I used to have, I used to have be hair like a Breck girl. You know, Pantene hair. Uh, it was wow. wonderful. Yeah. And then it fell out and went gray, like all at the same time. Like it started going gray, and I, well, what could be worse than this? And then it fell out. So, but that's why I wear a baseball cap, but also I don't want to get the head cancer. Oh, uh, well, from, yeah. That's from, a the, tough from the, from the, from the sun. Well, yeah. Well, I, the, that's prime location. Yeah. You see these guys running yeah, around with the, work, right. the, yeah, I don't want to be one of those, heads, right. one of those guys. But, so, so, so let me just tell you that, that you would think that that would have been the worst part of the story. So also, I should tell you that we that's had... That's the best a, part of the story. My story. So yeah, so yeah. we have a business partner in town um, staying at our house. And um, so she's a, a friend of Lori's, long-term friend of Lori's. And we are, are training her in, in one of our businesses. And she, too, is hysterical laughing every time she sees me, like walking down the hallway where I just want to lock myself in the mm-hmm. office and tell everyone to go... Away. Yes. But, but, yeah, I see. On your show, I go laugh at somebody. yourself. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's fast forward this story. So, a couple days later, Lori says to me, "You know what? Let we need to kind of trim some of this on the sides because if we trim it down, we might be able to just make it look a little better, and maybe mm-hmm. like it won't look so dark and like you have a, a helmet painted on your head." So, <laughs> out come the shears, right? The little, zzz, yeah, you know, like like whatever they call it, the little buzzer clipper, sure, right? And um, so we're standing outside again, once again by the pool, and it's a beautiful day. And so I'm I I'm hearing zzz, zzz, and and we're doing pretty good, right? Lori keeps going. Okay, this is looking better. This is looking better. And then I hear oh, and then an expletive. <laughs> Now, the last time I heard that, it was, oh, something, and it was purple, right? And I looked down, and a massive clump of hair is falling, not even slowly. Like, it's not even a TV moment. It just goes Looks boom, like right down to the deck of the pool. It's going to be military now. And it turns out that the um, the piece that goes over this year, right, that tells you what number, like, it's sort of how, how long your hair should be, Somehow fell off. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. we got the last buzz. That happens. So now it just, I've got. It just took a big gouge right down to the, basically down to the bottom. <laughs> and poor Steve is standing there, mortified, looking at huge strip of hair. I have the um, like the side mohawk going or something, and here's Lori and her best friend now hysterical, <laughs> and they're trying to console me, but. They're just the more one laughs, the more the other laughs, and all I hear is, "All right, we just got to take you to somewhere, and they got to get this fixed." <laughs> so, for those of you who are just listening and you're not watching, uh, I'm, yeah. Lori is now dating what looks like a Marine drill sergeant, uh, yeah. because well, it's kind of fun for the relationship, right? She's like, "Sure," I'm like, "Up to it," <laughs> you know. But but anyway, that's uh, tight. That's a tight look. Yeah. It's tight. tight so tight. yeah. Anyway, so that's the story. But but it, you know you. It, the reason I, I shared this, so I actually, before I tell you that, I, I went right immediately to my blog, and, and I blogged the whole thing. And the reason I did I'm that- I'm on the wrong page. Gordonpartnership.com. That's where I'm at. Not the CEO manship page. And then click, nope. on, click on articles. Okay. Are you going click- to put up the I'm picture? I'm clicking on articles. You know, I ought to. Um, anyway. Yeah, you could yeah, do that. During you the next and if you scroll break. down, the pictures are down there. Anyway, so, so um, and look at the evil Lori's picture. Uh, it's the, it's the article. It's called um, I think something if you about can laugh at yourself. If you can laugh at yourself, excellent. Right. Excellent. So the the funny thing about that is that um, I actually before I knew that my hair was destroyed, I took a self well selfie 
um, and and you have to see the evil Lori's look behind. Is this, uh, is this that's where, the one? Is this where it starts, sir? <laughs> anyway, she knew she knew she was messing with me. Anyway, uh, but you have to laugh. Laughter is very important. Laughter is important as a business owner and as a CEO. You don't want to be seen as stiff, and you don't want to be seen as uptight all the time. And it's important for your employees and everybody else to see you laugh. So I figured, all right, if 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 I put this out there on my blog first, then you know it's better than if Lori did it because <laughs> then it would be making fun of me. So so there it is on the blog, and and the story is is much more detailed there, and because I remembered everything word for word as I was typing it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so so there's our story, and I am happy to share that with you, but thank you for noticing my new haircut, and I hope that I provided all of you with uh, a little bit of laughter because laughter a- it adds years to your life. It, it, it keeps you healthy. It releases endorphins, uh, and many um, say that, that it can actually help fight certain diseases. So uh, try to laugh a little bit every day. Even if you're stuck in traffic, even if you know something happened, well, I'm going to put these on my phone so I can accomplish that. That would be okay. You know, make, it, well, it, make it the wallpaper. You know what, George, If I can help you live a longer, healthier, happy life, why wouldn't I? You're a good man. I am a good man, Charlie Rum. So you and I um, have also put together a little project, and I'm really yes, excited to be able to work with you on this new project, and we are actually looking for a couple of uh, folks to 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 partner up with this, and and we have actually partnered up with a um, a company that specializes in, um, in in helping people in a lot of different ways. Um, we're we're not selling products or going door to door. It's not like that, but uh, we would love to hear from a couple of our more entrepreneurial friends. So George. Uh, how do your uh, how do your fans find you? Uh, SoFloRadio.com. There's a contact us PR at SoFloRadio.com. George at SoFloRadio.com with, with a J. But uh, you said my fans. And so, I mean, uh, they ought to know. And uh, it's it's all very clickable here at SoFloRadio.com. Good. That's why we try to. <laughs> We try to remind people that that's the, the the website and keep it simple. You know, there's a there's a phone number and an email address. It all comes in here. Um, so yeah, we're 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 looking f- for a couple of people that number. might be interested in in generating a little extra um, little extra revenue, a little positive cash flow for your household. Uh, and and we can explain this off air to you. So you can contact me, Steve at Gordon Partnership, or you can uh, hit George up at George J O R G E at SoFlowRadio.com. So. As we stated, or I stated earlier in uh, the beginning of the show, I wanted to talk about making a good and positive first impression, uh, and you you so nicely foreshadowed that with my my haircut. So I hope that that made a good positive first impression. But there are a lot of do's and don'ts. No, I, I'd hire you with that haircut. No, cool. Well, no you know, question. I'm looking serious. Very good. Um, so so you know, I wanted to kind of cover. As many of these these tips as, as as I possibly can with you today, George, and with our listening audience, uh, because it's said that you have literally between two and seven seconds to make a first impression, and within those two to seven wow. seconds, people are fully have already sized you up, and and they they have a feeling about you, and it will take you upwards of an hour of conversation to rectify that that or correct that feeling. Uh, if they sized you up the wrong way. So there are things that we could do. I really thought I had more time than that. No. Wow. Yeah. So So it's really an an appearance thing. Well, it's, 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 it's a lot more than just appearance. See, that's interesting that you said that uh, because you, you, it's, there's a lot of psychology to this. Okay. So we will talk about appearance, but I think the first thing is um, I, when I meet people, one of the things I try to do is listen a lot especially in sales because when you are involved in a conversation with someone if if I tell you something you know as as the sales guy then then you know the challenge is that that I I'm trying to sell you something right but if you tell me something you're a genius okay right cuz right. ev- you know everyone sure. loves to hear themselves talk yes i do and if you say, right and if you say it it's always right that's right you notice that Yes, because it's true. So one of the things you want to do is to is to let the other person uh, do as much talking as they possibly can, 
uh, and again, it's it's because uh, people want to to hear so about themselves. So one of the things you you can basically do is is um, just say, you know, please t- tell me a- about yourself, George. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, but of course, here's the thing: if you do that, make sure you're you're truly interested in, in hearing what they have to say. All right. Um, because if, if I say to you, tell me about yourself, George, and then I pick up my cell phone and I start tweeting, mm-hmm. probably not going to make a good impression. Well, I'm the kind of guy that figures, well, he's tweeting about me. <laughs> well, I appreciate you saying that, uh, but, but probably that wouldn't be it. it. <laughs> so another thing is is um, getting people to laugh. You see how you just laughed? Everybody likes to laugh. I, I always say, if you've ever been to a party, and there are you walk in the room and there are two groups of people, right? So you've got the first set of people over here, the four or five people, a couple of men, a couple of women, and it's a lot of you know quiet mumbling, murmuring, right? And then over on the other side of the room, they're laughing like crazy, having a good time, everybody's loud, having you know, just making noise. And you have to go talk to the, the quiet people because there's somebody there you need to make contact with. But in the back of your mind, the whole time you're going, I want to be over with the fun people, right? Yeah. And you're thinking, yeah. what are they doing? What are they talking about? What am I missing? So everybody likes to laugh. And and so um, try try to do something, not not off color, but just something fun or witty and, and be smart and get people to laugh. Um, if you've ever listened to some very, very great speakers, they often start with a, a quick story. In fact, if you listen to someone like Joel Osteen, uh, mm-hmm. Joel always starts his uh, his sermons by going, I want to tell you a little something funny. So he tells you he's going to tell you something funny, and then he tells you something really corny. I mean, like like you roll your eyes when it's over, but but you can't help but laugh. And, and I work with um, a gentleman. Uh, his name is McKay Christensen. McKay is one of the absolute smartest people, probably the smartest person I've ever met. No offense to to everybody else, but but McKay is just unbelievable. And he is a master at starting, you know, a, a, a conversation or a seminar with a um, a quick story that makes you laugh and and kind of a a groaner, as we say. But you know what? You know he's going to do it. You always you you you're waiting for the punchline. And when it hits you, you go, how did I not see that coming? But but he puts you at ease. He makes you feel good. And then he goes into uh, his his story from there. So try to get people to laugh a little bit. Everybody likes to laugh. Everybody needs to laugh. We talked about laughter um, making you live longer, see? Here's another thing. Knowledge is so important because in today's society, people don't have a lot of time, right, when they meet you? Nope. So you need to do some things to distinguish yourself from, from the pack. So one of the things that I would recommend is um, to, to search and gather as much information about the person you're going to meet as possible. Um, you know, most people will, will Google somebody or they'll LinkedIn somebody or Facebook somebody. I mean, but there's also um, a really great source for like academic research. It's called Google Scholar. And, um, if you're going to a meeting with with some some pretty important people and you are aware of of maybe some research that they've done or or what what their background is it really makes you stand uh, further ahead of the crowd than than the rest of the the people coming to that table and and you know what it just shows you care sure and again here's the thing George if you if you show that you care before you get that contract or before you, whatever it is you're, you're, you're trying to do, um, you got to figure that most people will think, wow, if this guy put in this much effort before he even you know started working with us, sure. how great is it going to be when he finally does? Absolutely. You are especially, a plethora especially, of words Especially today. here in Florida. Well, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't have anything non-funny to respond. I mean, uh, <laughs> funny to respond to that. But uh, no, there's no question. And I think it's not a bad thing, but um, it certainly appeals to their ego. Uh, everybody has an ego. And it's, um, and it's nice to think that people care about you. You know, it also gives you a competitive uh, advantage on your side of the table. Because if <laughs> I know about you sure. or I know what you've done, then I could pretty much use the past in some ways to predict the future. 
And, and therefore, if I know what your style is, whether it's a style of work or what it is that drives you, um, I can certainly focus my presentation um, on those things. Absolutely. So we talked about laughter. Obviously, smiling is important. You know, you know what's crazy? If somebody smiles at you, we were actually having a little conversation about this before. Yes, we were. So, um, in, in a little bit of a different way. But, but if somebody smiles at you, um, you can't help but smile back. Even if you're just walking down the street and someone looks up and they kind of just smile and they go, and, and then you think, oh, what a nice guy. You know, what a nice person. Sure. Um, you, you know, I smile so much people think I'm crazy. Well, there's a difference between crazy <laughs> smile, George, and, and, and um, just a, a, a subtle smile. Well, I like to keep people on their toes. <laughs> that you do. That you do, George. Here's another thing. I, I, I've talked about this many times, and this is not about a, a first first impression, but this is sort of a follow-up first in, to your first impression, and that is um, I, I am a very big believer in, in a note that comes in the mail uh, post-meeting. And, and I do it all the time. Um, there are several um, software programs that actually allow you to create uh, a, a letter, and you can actually customize these these note cards right online. They'll ship them right out for you, right right out to you. Um, and and I I do use one of those systems. I, I like it a lot because a lot of times what I'll do is if I meet someone, maybe before I even meet them, I'll go to their website, and I can grab a picture. Of them, for example, off their website. And I'll embed that into the, the card. And then I'll write a little thank you note. And the, the card comes. Or sometimes maybe if, if it's appropriate, maybe a guest on the show, we can take a picture of the two of us together. And then I put that in the card. So so not only is it a thank you card that reminds them, but it's a customized card that always has their photograph on it. That's neat. It's really cool. I sent you one of those. Yes, yes, you did. It was very nice. I still, I was hoping for the, a good old fashioned DNA sample. You know, the, where you lick the stamp and and I get your DNA so that I can clone you or um, cast a voodoo spell on you. Let's go for clone. <laughs> so I didn't know that you were Practice into voodoo. Both cloning and voodoo. Yes, <laughs> cloning and voodoo. <laughs> yeah. So so please, everybody likes to get get something in the mail. And here and here's the thing, email. Yeah, it's instant gratification, and the reason that it's, it, people do it is because it's it's the lazy person's way out. In the sense that it's like you know, thanks for meeting me. It was great. The problem is, you know, how, how many emails a day do you think you get? Good lord, uh, a lot, <laughs> about a lot, many. Yeah, I, I would say that I wake up, and and of course the majority of these maybe are spam. altogether a uh, hundred. I was maybe. gonna say I probably wake up because I have several domains. I, it wouldn't be uncommon that first thing in, that I check. The first time I check in the morning, there were mm. two to three hundred sitting there, and then throughout sure. the day, probably another three, four, five hundred, of which most are junk mail. Right. All right. And so, um, if you know that the majority of, of what people receive is junk mail, then doesn't it pay to make sure that your message is received? Because uh, you don't want it to get lost in the sauce, so to say. I mean, I thought I was the only one that still did that kind of thing. The the making of physical cards. I have a stack of generic thank you cards. They just say thank you, and there's a pretty picture on it nothing wrong with that blank on the inside you know thank you for the kidney and you know, just anything that might come up you know <laughs> right there yeah you know what I, as the, I, I like that you have those cards there in, in our house um lori always has like boxes like she'll buy a box or two of of mixed cards so so there'll be everything in there from a happy birthday to a happy graduation to happy communion to happy bar mitzvah to whatever and we're never without a card. And inevitably, we always need one, and we grab one. So, so if we need one on the spot, and I can't use the service to send it out, because um, we're going, like, all of a sudden, a neighbor says, oh, you know, my grandchild uh, just graduated uh, from high school and uh, yesterday, and he's here at the house now. Why don't you come over? We're having a little party. Well, you know, I can't use my system to send out a card, but, right. but I don't have to run to the store because we always have them. Like blank cards with a pretty picture. Blank, blank cards it's with beautiful. It, it, it's a smart thing to do. Well, and a great investment. The, it, it is, and also even if you if you have advance notice, the greeting cards don't always say what you want, and they're there's a they're a little bit impersonal. You know, as a store by as opposed to writing a sentiment yourself, even if it's for a birthday or something. like I that. I agree with you. I 100 percent agree with you. The other thing we talked about a little bit before was. When you're asking a question, and I said, you know, make sure you're paying attention and not tweeting or, or texting or Facebooking, um, people can tell. 
Sure. People can tell <clears throat> when when you care. And if you even slightly exude a little bit of like not paying attention, mm-hmm. you, you lost it. Yeah. You lost it. Doesn't mean you got to like stare them down to the point where, you know, they feel uncomfortable. But even if it's just a quick nod of the head or acknowledging something they're saying, it makes people know that you're in the game. Sure. Okay. Looking at that clock, can't believe it. it. We're hitting the post. Time time flies when you're talking about We'll be back shortly. This is Steve Gordon, CEO Manship on SoFloRadio.com. More CEO Manship with Steve Gordon next on SoFloRadio.com. Hi, this is Zaina Degaya, and I'd love to share with you about my good friend Nicole of Legit Fitness In Home Training and Yoga. She's a certified yoga teacher, and she's an amazing and experienced trainer that can design a program to fit your specific needs and goals. She's so cool. She's super committed to making fitness and health fun and accessible for everyone. Plus, your first week is free as a new client. Here's how you set up your first session either call 305 335 5590 or visit www.getlegitfit.com g-e-t-l-e-g-i-t-f-i-t getlegitfit.com 305-335-5590 do it now See, it's easier than ever to listen to SoFlo on the air and everywhere. On any computer, any mobile device, iPhone, iTouch, and anywhere you are, just hit SoFloRadio.com. Tell your friends about South Florida's radio network, SoFloRadio.com. Now, back to CEO Manship with Steve Gordon on SoFloRadio.com. Well, that was a great quick break. Was it too quick for you? Because no, it's fine. You wanted to uh, write back in here. So, so thank you, Zana, for um, those great uh, commercials. She has a, and she has a commercial. And so, um, we should talk a little bit about Zana. Z- Zana's she's a she's a ball of fire. She uh, thank you. She does a um, well. It it's kind of a lifestyle show. If it uh, if you want to be all inclusive, she's a, a yoga. She's a yogini. She's a yoga teacher. Teacher. She. She teaches the teachers. She teaches the teachers, and uh, and she's a teen whisperer. She uh, she helps a teen whisperer. Now I've seen her show, but I, yeah. I, I'm not sure. She, I caught the she's teen all over the place. Part. Well, she's a, she's just a very positive ball of uh, of energy. She is, and so she helps uh, with uh, with at risk teens and troubled teens um, oh, by uh, by just uh, being in the same room with them. I think she's just a, just such a positive, uh, bright person. But uh, it's a show about all of the all of the good uh, things that go along with yoga. You know, like um, you know, positive attitude kind of things and spiritual healing and uh, natural lifestyles and and things like that and she has a lot of interesting guests she has a lot of musical guests and does uh, sometimes we jam during the show there I think you should tell and, my listening audience when they and it's can it's Thursday it's uh, Thursday's noon till one o'clock and it's here live it's right a great show in these wonderful studios and uh, and yeah it's a very feel good show there's a meditation session at the end of it a little guided meditation you know what I, I, I've seen that and and you know again we are high stress business owners CEOs upper management yes. and or there's even nothing if you're not it's yeah, stress but, everywhere exactly and you know what it's great to take a little time out and and so that show would be a great show to listen to at your desk or on your iPhone while you're um, maybe in your car if you just sure. connect it right to your Bluetooth and you can listen while you're driving and just like uh, CEO and ship with Steve Gordon it's on YouTube that she is you know you can subscribe to her podcast just like they can subscribe to yours mm-hmm. uh, trying to make it really easy for the people out there to enjoy uh, a variety of South Florida originated programming well we here love what South you do, George and um, thank you for providing we're us. all here for each other yes like <laughs> speaking of podcasts you can go to the iTunes uh, podcast library and search for uh, CEO manship and then just click the subscribe button and as George mentioned uh, right into your iPhone, goes. your Zap. iPad, etc. Uh, within moments after the show uh, airs live, uh, you will have a copy downloaded so you can listen to it again Bam. later. Just like that, like all the other shows that we have here on SoFlo. That's amazing. And by the way, Z Nation, I forgot to mention the name of Zena's show, is Z Nation. Not to be confused with the zombie movie of the same name. I didn't know there was a zombie movie well, of the same name. Well, you know, so- <laughs> it's one of those things. 
<laughs> yes, and of course you can also watch uh, back uh, archived uh, yep. episodes of CEO Manship on uh, CEOmanship dot com. Not mm-hmm. to be confused with reading the article about my hair on my other website, which is GordonPartnership dot com. Sure. And for those of you uh, watching live today, or I guess or, even or the, on a replay, the video, sure, uh, the video George was kind enough to punch up the pictures for my article where it looks like I do look like Eddie Munster. In fact, uh, George, could you pull up the... Oh, look at the face on Lori. The comparison. Right there. Do I look like Eddie Munster there? I really do, right? A little, little bit, except for the camera part. Oh, well, Eddie didn't have a phone. cell phone. Yeah, there were no iPhones when he was uh, a kid. But that's such an evil little... Look at that look on Lori. Can you punch up the Lori picture one more time? All right. Yeah. Like, it's... She's that. That's the. I don't know if it was evil and she's laughing or she's going. Oh my god! I can't. I can't remember at that moment. But it was not good. Okay, so getting back to making good impressions, first impressions, etc. One of the things that absolutely blows my mind is when I meet somebody. This weekend, I was at, uh, in Port St. Lucie, which is uh, about an hour north, forty-five minutes north of. Um, where I live in Jupiter, about an hour north of West Palm Beach. And they were having a, um, a home business expo. So in the convention center, there were hundreds of vendors doing everything from, you know, maybe offering small business loans to um, selling any kind of, as we say, sort of, you know, gotchki or whatever uh, that you can and, and, and everything in between. Um, and so I had a lot of business cards from people that I met. George, if I had a dollar for every business person that still has a Gmail or AOL account, I know you probably have an AOL account, right, George? I, I, you know, there's a story, me and AOL, big problems from the very beginning. I mean, yeah, you don't want to go there. No, I don't have an AOL account. All right, I, folks, I, I hate if AOL. you own a business, you know, spend the nine dollars a year at GoDaddy or somewhere else. Have a website, and even if you don't, well, you should have the website. But even if you don't, you can own the domain. You know, you see, George. I said, "What's George? What's your email address?" And he said, "George with a J at SoFlowRadio dot com." Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, right. it takes you so yeah. out of the professional game when you go, "Yeah, I'm Zippy one twenty three." Dash two two one four at AOL dot com. I hope that's not somebody's sure. address. <laughs> right. Um, my point is, if you want to look be professional, look professional. You need a theme. You know, it's all about branding. So, so if you have a Twitter account, a Facebook account, an Instagram account, which you should, and and you also sure. have your own website and your business cards. What they all should be themed to look the same. They all should have the same name. George, how many times have I said, if you're on Instagram, it's Gordon Partnership. If you're on Facebook, it's Gordon Partnership. If you're on Twitter, uh, it's Follow Steve Gord, only because I couldn't get Gordon Partnership. Um, no. You know, so all of these things are the same. It's branded the same. They look the same. So it doesn't matter where you go to find me. LinkedIn. You know, again, you can search for uh, Steve Gordon, Gordon Partnership, Steve Gordon, uh, CEO Manship, all of these things. These are my two brands, uh, one for the radio show and one for my, my business. But you've got to – do you remember when you were a little kid and they had – I forget what it was called. I think it was called Garanimals, right? It was the – J.C. Penney, man. Is that what the it was? matching set. The yeah, matching yeah. – like, the animals would match, like, the sure. colors, right? So just – it's the same thing with your business, Okay. Make them all match. You thought that was funny. <laughs> the, <laughs> it's all right. The very first demo that I cre- that I made for, when I was seventeen to get at my radio job mm-hmm. it was a um, and it was in Montana. It was a, a weather forecast. Okay, it was two pieces of copy, two sheets, a weather forecast and a J.C. Penny commercial, and the commercial was for Garanimals. So I'll always remember that because <laughs> that was my demo, and I was seventeen, and I wasn't taking the process seriously. This guy said that he was going to get me a job in radio, and he was a, a dishonest person. So, but he was honest about that. But that was my commercial, Garanimals. So I've always that's very funny, you know. So Isn't that funny that I picked that. that, that it, it is, and I bought Garanimals for my nieces. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Granimals crack me up. It's, uh, it, it, I accuse people. Granimals are a funny thing. Like you ever run into somebody, an adult, and it mm-hmm. looks like what they're wearing 
Is a granimal set? And I'll say, what is, is that a granimal? <laughs> you, you know, I, I will tell you, it's a, a very, I have a friend of mine, very successful business person who is colorblind. Okay. So the concept of picking out suits and ties and shirts that match um, is difficult. So it would short be. of having to ask his wife every single day, you know, honey, does this match? I mean, right. So one day she literally went out and she alpha, she did like the ABC D ta- version of Brown. She, she put like, you know, A's and B's and C's and D's so that he could literally look inside <clears throat> the, the, the jacket or the, or the back of the tie uh, and know that he was dressing for success. I think a lot of not colorblind men might uh, benefit from that. <laughs> I am one of them. Not, um, <laughs> You know what it is? That's funny. It's not that I can't pick this stuff out. My wife is about to roll her eyes now because she's like, no, it's because you can't. It's it's that, honey, you have such a better eye for 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 what looks good that um, it's yeah. just worth my time to, to ask you every day, what do you think? This shirt? Now it's just That's like... Right. So, so when I'm in a rush now, she doesn't even wait for the question. Sometimes like if I'm running in the shower and I've got to run out to a meeting... I hear, all right, I just put it out in the bed for you. All right, I just laid sure. out a jacket and a shirt. Just put this on. Um, it's really pathetic it's, at 52. But, no, but no, you know not what? at all. It's good to have a, a consultant. That's exactly. <laughs> I have a wardrobe consultant. consultant. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So they say that people make about a dozen um, decisions in, in the first maybe seven to ten seconds of contact. That's a, I, I, that's a short it, amount of time to be funny. I mean, well, that, there's a lot of things that go on. That's, so again, first okay. impression is so, so, so critical. And and um, another thing that I think people do that's really bad is they make careless mistakes. And some of those careless mistakes um, may be things you're not thinking about. For example, it could be that um, I pull into the studio here and there's uh, garbage overflowing, which there isn't. But maybe there was just garbage overflowing from the garbage can in in the reception area, sure. or um, maybe I come to your someone's office and the glass doors have you know smudge marks all over them, and it just shows a little bit of carelessness. Sure. Or maybe it's just um, the way somebody responds or gives a greeting over the telephone. You know, remember, you know, we say this all the time, but the people who who answer the phones at your office are are, are the first impression. So, if, I mean, sometimes you call and, and you hear like, Acme Plumbing, how you do? Hold on. Right? Yeah, what do you want? Right, right, exactly. <laughs> um, or, or even a doctor's office drives me crazy. You know, I know that they're busy, but, um, you know, you pick up, the, they answer the phone, and the first thing, they don't even say, like, hello, Dr. Smith or Dr. Bombay or whatever. They just go, doctor's office, please hold. Right, and I'm like, right. that, oh, that's, yeah. that yeah. just gets to me. I'm like, oh, the pizza delivery people. I'm gonna play home. Like, oh, I'm sure glad I called you. Sorry to bother you with my food order. Right, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping you in business. Yeah. Um, so, so again, try to you know listen. Sometimes, if you if you're the business owner, you know that that television show, uh, Undercover Boss. Yes, love that show. Yes. Love, love, love that show. Do you believe it, or what? What do you? Because I think there's a level of contrive, um, contrivity they're, they're, to all of the reality shows. Maybe, but th- don't. Next, you're going to tell me there's no no Easter, no no Easter Bunny. That's what I meant. There's no Easter Bunny, right? Yeah, or, and, and no or, Santa or, Claus or no or Santa Claus either. But I, I like the show also. It's a good show. The, the part about being contrived to me is irrelevant. The concept, yes, I love, and I love the idea because what happens is sometimes you get stuck so far in the ivory tower that you really do uh, forget. What, I, what happens I, I think lines. it ought to be mandatory. I think that shareholders everywhere ought to demand that as, you know, of, of all of their their CEOs and presidents. Well, you know, certainly call your own office, you know, and, <laughs> and listen idea. to how things go. Have have a friend call and place an order with your company and put it on speakerphone so you could be you know listening to the entire process. Uh, these things are important. Find out. Have, have somebody you know uh, call for a brochure and see how it arrives does it come nicely packaged does it look like it was just slapped in there is there a nice note written with it all of these things so important um so so you know be be out there be the eyes and ears of of what's going on in your company because you know shame on you if you're if it's going on and you're not paying attention right on right on um I'm also a big believer in, you know, I, 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 I you know, Florida's casual. 
right? Yeah. And it's really casual. <laughs> and and yet I there, there are more casual places, but <laughs> well, well, you know, when I first moved here, I was told by a, a gentleman, very successful business person. Uh, when I was wearing ties every single day, he said, "If if you're wearing a tie in Florida, it looks like you're either going to a funeral or right. or you're desperate." That, and yeah. you know what? At first, I took that really seriously, and then I said, "You know what? I'm still when I go to a, a meeting. I mean, I don't wear a tie on the show, um, but I always wear a jacket." Sure. And even if you're wearing a sport coat and jeans, like not the torn ones you wear, to, you know, like like football. Well, game. this is Hollywood, so we kind of you you kind of have to be going to a funeral to wear a tie in Hollywood here. Is that, is that yeah? True? Yeah. Well, I just yeah. It's a okay. policy here. It's not exactly a law. <laughs> Here's another thing. You know, first impressions. Little things. Check your teeth. Do you have anything in your teeth? Like, did you just have right. a salad with broccoli or spinach? I'm very self conscious about that. Check your breath. I carry toothpicks with me. Okay. Everywhere. You know, if you just had lunch, gum. maybe carry carry gum. a toothbrush. I carry gum. I carry gum. Yeah, man. You can't buy enough of those little. Those little, th- those are great. To- those little yeah. disposable toothbrushes yeah. that you can buy, like a two pack, and you Especially just, just have to might, rinse them. And Caesar salad, yep, with no guilt. There you go. Um, you know, I these guys should be a sponsor, but I have to tell you, one of the absolute greatest products, and I'm going to give a really good plug for a great company that you are welcome to come back and sponsor us now. Uh, Smart Mouth is a oh, yeah. great product. The problem, the challenge with Smart Mouth is, is that it's a two part. You need to mix the two ingredients together so you can't okay. carry them. But now they make, or they have for a while, it's not always easy to find um, little packets. But it is a great product that will even like a like Caesar salad, garlic, or, or yeah. you know, a glass of wine or something in the evening. And, you know, you're, you're good to go at a business meeting uh, face-to-face. But be aware, you know, of, of good hygiene. Uh, check check your, your nostrils. You know, little things. Yeah. Guys... Okay. Um, anyway, uh, so so all important. Um, another thing is is you know when you're talking to people, uh, we talked about eye contact without staring them down. Um, try to be prepared with with a couple of questions so that you can um, engage somebody in conversation. Remember earlier we said now you're self conscious. You, you scratched your nose. I yeah, because <laughs> you said check your nose. And right. like, oh, we've just been dying to ever since you said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's um, okay. So, so I have questions, and and again, we talked about how nodding is important. Nonverbal communication that shows you're you're actually paying attention to their answers. And you know, folks, I have said over and over again on on this show, and when I'm coaching uh, clients, um, if you ask the right questions, people will always tell you what it is you need to tell them back in order to make a sale. They'll give you all the reasons they need to buy from you. But you have to listen, and you have to ask questions. I there's there's to me nothing worse than when I'm sitting in a presentation, and the person presenting to me just goes like a steam like a, like a bulldozer, a steamroller, just goes and goes and goes, doesn't take a breath, speaks you know for thirty minutes, and 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 then says, um, so what do you think? Well, I I don't know what to think anymore because uh, I I stopped thinking about it about 28 minutes ago when I had a first question I wanted to ask you. No, when you're I'm asking a question here. So when you're asking questions, are you talking about uh, asking them something relevant to the presentation or the the business, or asking them something casual like, "Hey, where did you get your hair cut?" Uh, <laughs> in my backyard by my <laughs> wife. Uh, but you know what? Uh, <clears throat> I think that you can always start with a little bit of of small talk. Um, and and then and then move into questions that would allow them to tell you the things that you need to know. So, it, it, but they have to be open end questions. Open end questions are not questions that can be answered with a yes or a no. They actually need an explanation. And then be prepared because you're paying attention. You'll be able to be prepared to actually ask a follow up question, which means you need to know your craft a little bit and your products so that you can understand when someone's going down one path um, how to qualify or quantify their comment uh, and make sure you're going down the same path with them. There's nothing worse than thinking you know what they mean and, and you're on two different tracks. What do you think of things, the questions like, like where are you from? Is that a good one or is that, mind your business, nosy? No, yeah. I mean, you know, where are you from is a, is a certainly legitimate and it's a non, you know, I would say a non-invasive question. Um, if somebody has an accent, 
you might maybe you, no, maybe no don't ask that well no you, but you could just say <laughs> things like you know because because you, you don't want to offend somebody who's maybe been you know an american citizen for 40 years but still has an accent from you know where they came over from europe uh years ago but you could say um you know where where's your family originally from sure and if if you have a Spanish accent in South Florida um, and you ask someone where they're from and they say here, uh, there's, you're not allowed to be offended either in, in either direction. <laughs> right. Well, again, I, I, that's why I, I, I know say, people that are born here that have a, a Spanish accent. You say, where are you from? And they go, I'm from here. I'm like, hey, because I, I wasn't born right. here and I don't have a Spanish accent. So I'm allowed to ask that. Well, excuse me. Again, wow. Um, again, uh, we, we, we try to I would suggest saying things like you know where where is your family originally from? I need okay. you to talk for a second because I have. To... A, do you got a, a tickle? A little yeah. as uh, in, inhaled a dandelion seed. I think it was probably a, um, a a loose hair that you didn't rinse off from the. It's uh, terrible. From the All escapade right. there. Anyway, so here's another thing: people, your confidence is 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 contagious, right? Which is different. Confidence and, and and cockiness are two different things. But people want to do do business and associate with people who are are confident. So be confident, understand, speak with confidence, and and be bold. Don't be meek. Right. Um, firm hand. Project shake. from the diaphragm. The diaphragm. Do I have to drink? Do I have to drink alcohol before this encounter? Um, I don't. Okay. Um, I because I get a lot of confidence from that. Um, I thought you meant that gives you the raspy radio. That too. Voice. Go ahead, drink some whiskey. Um, I'll get all smooth. I, I, it's really funny because I've heard that from other radio uh, announcers. But sure, I, both both of those things good for voice and confidence. Well, or and silliness probably. Uh, yeah, you know they pay you to be silly. I also you when people I, I, when people say how are you or you know you, if you speak to someone you know usually if you bump into someone or you, you you meet them or on the phone so you might just say hi oh, hi George it's uh, Steve Gordon you know calling from Jupiter Florida. Um, you know, how are you? And and you might say, uh, oh, I'm good. Um, how are you? And I always say, never been better. Now, I love that. And that came from a guy up in Westport, Connecticut. It had to be in his mid-70s. I hope I'm not offending you if you were younger. And he owned a, uh, a health food store, a nutrition shop and health food store. And every time I would walk into this store, see this guy, because he made me smile. I'd say, how's it going? And he'd go, never felt better. And the first time I go, never, which is what everybody says. Sure. And then he's like, I'm here. I'm, it's right. great. It's a great day. And it's infectious. So I said to Lori, I, I love that. And I started saying, every time someone's saying, how are you? I'd go, never been better. And you know what? You watch people's attitudes and expressions and the way they look at you and then they smile and either they go truly never and i go no look i, I am in this moment sure and i am blessed to be here and therefore i have Absolutely. never been better and people look at it, i go you know what you want to use that line but you know talk about first impressions i go go ahead take it use it make it yours no, don't matter to me mm -hmm. you know, i'm sure someone said it before i did i just probably never heard it but my point is it really gets people to look up and snap too, and and now you have engaged. Remember you had those few seconds to catch mm -hmm. their attention. Sure, you just did, and people also feel like, well, well, I was part of making this never been better moment. Mine is spectacular. Spectacular. How you doing? Spectacular. They go spectacular. They ask you that spectacular. I go yes or phenomenal if you prefer, because that just because we're we're in a great place. We are in a great place. You know what, Tom Hopkins. You remember Tom? He was on our show I do. several months ago. Uh, when I was in uh, Tom's sales school, Tom always told us that if someone said, um, you know, how are you? How's it going? He would tell everybody to say, unbelievable. And okay. I would say, the first time I said, Tom, well, why unbelievable? He goes, because it can go either way. Sure. Right? It's very innocuous. You had bad, not such a good day. It's, it's unbelievable. But you're having a great day. It's like, unbelievable. I can't right? use that. That was the Neil Rogers tagline. Was it? <laughs> yeah, that was on the bumper stickers. That was one of his things. Unbelievable. It was a drop that he played on the show. Oh, yeah. rest That's okay. I'll stick with spectacular, and you can keep your never been better, and let's let's um, put them on our T-shirts and go to a party. A couple other tips before we um, wrap this this puppy I'm up. I'm running them all today. down. Um, I mentioned to you before that one of the things I like to do 
when I'm meeting someone beforehand is to go and look at them on you know look them up on LinkedIn, Facebook. But it really makes a difference. Also, if you're walking into a group environment and I already know what you look like because I've seen your picture on LinkedIn or Facebook, and I could walk right in the crowd and go, George, right, Steve Gordon, how are you? Spectacular. How are you? Spectacular. Never, Never been, been better. better. Hey. There you go. Ching. There you go. Um, <laughs> here's a couple of little tips because uh, the clock is ticking, as they say. But, you know, you only get one chance to, to make a first impression. You've heard, you, you know, mm-hmm. that expression over and over <laughs> and over again. Um, therefore, little things. Spell check. And to, 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 I got they put the to, red line. The red line is right there. <laughs> it is. You know what? I, you know what? It's. It's sometimes I think that people send a lot of stuff. We're from phones. the olden days. I had to type on typewriters, resumes, and things. Didn't you, pops? No. No. How old are you? I'm fifty. All right. My first resume was on a typewriter. No, I'm teasing. Tick, yes, tap, I tap, tap, tap. All right, and then you made a mistake and you had to start all over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, look. Here's the thing. I, I, I got an e- a great email today, and I'm reading through this, and I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. And it was to try to sell a product, and, and I was really engaged in this email, and I saw a, a horrific spelling mistake. And I go, oh. You know, it, it, it made me realize that horrific. maybe... That it, hurt your, it hurt your teeth. It was so bad. It was, you know what it was? I just started to think, well, if if they didn't take the time... To to check sure. or spell check and then double check. Look, if I'm sending, believe me, I, I've made my share of mistakes in my life. You know, when it comes to things like you know, Spelling. sales letters. But now, I I try to have you know a second set of eyes look at my my newsletter or my emails that go out, um, just for 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 copy and content and also for for grammar. Sometimes you know I tend to write a little bit like I speak. Which can be great if you're blogging, but not so great if you're writing a letter. Okay. So you you want a second set of eyes to look at that and go, well, what do you mean by that? Uh, Lori got a, a, a message last night, a, a text message from a business partner. And she's reading it to me. And I forget what it said, but she read it and she goes, I don't understand what this means. And then I said, read it again as though someone's speaking. Right. And it was something where was, the person said something, 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 right, tonight, right? And she goes, like, tonight, right, what? What does that mean? Tonight, right, it's supposed to be with a W? I go, no. She was typing it, and she was saying tonight, right, but she never put the question mark in there. So, you know, right. again, preview what it is that you're you're sending, and um, it, it'll, you know, look at it from the other person's eyes. One it's more. A, it's a production room thing, too. It is. It is. But listen you know, back to your work. Read, proofread. Yeah, just, just like we do on don't the be show. lazy. There's only if, if you have the time to do it right, and it doesn't turn out right. There's only one reason, one excuse for that, and that's you're you're lazy. I'll, you I'll go care. with that. Of course, now you're all going to call me lazy if I send out an email. With that's right. I'm going to be watching you. You always are, George. <laughs> um, you know, again, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. It's not first impression, but it is impression. And and do it in lots of different ways. Telephone, follow up, you know, card, maybe a letter, now an email. Um, stalking outside. Stalking yeah, is not in good. The front yard, Probably not text hanging, messaging. Either. Hanging by the car there. No. You know, waiting in the parking lot after work. Although I will tell you, you you you. I don't know that that's stalking, but I have closed <laughs> more than one deal with somebody that I have been trying to reach, and you know, the gatekeeper has kept me uh, away. Because that's his or her job, mm-hmm. and I have been known in my younger years, to, especially uh, to climb a wall. Not to <laughs> climb a wall, but to maybe know where somebody might get their coffee in the morning and be there, or maybe be in a parking lot um, and just bump into them. Well, no, just to uh, say, hey, well. you know what? I I I I know it's six thirty in the morning. Uh, but I've been trying to reach you for about three weeks and um, leap out from behind a bush. And, right? Hey, have how you that opportunity, um, and I would, you know love to have the opportunity to chat with you even if it's just walking from here to your office or maybe we could have a cup of coffee on the way um but you know what you have to set yourself apart from the crowd the music is playing it is I can't believe after the show i'll out. tell you about the uh, the times i've climbed walls i don't want to know because if the statute of limitations hasn't run out part yet, of my that job can make me accessory to crime it was all legal i'm um, sure it was 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's been another wonderful hour, and uh, thank you for joining me in another CEO Manship radio and television show. It's uh, it's always fun. I love my Mondays. George, you're awesome. It's a great way to start Mondays. It is. It Although is. I don't start my Mondays with this show. I start my Mondays early. I do, but, too. Uh, I was uh, up but at it's 5 o'clock But morning. it's the climax for me. It's the pinnacle. Well, thank you, George. And you make my day thank great. Look forward to Mondays. Looking forward to next Monday. Don't forget, uh, CEOmanship.com. GordonPartnership.com on Facebook, Gordon Partnership, uh, iTunes, of course, uh, CEO Manship in the podcast area, and LinkedIn, Steve Gordon, Gordon Partnership. Talk to you next Monday. Steve Gordon, SoFloRadio.com. Streaming live from the beautiful city of Hollywood, Florida, USA, this is SoFloRadio.com.